Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today is February 11th, and we're going to continue on in Photoshop, exporting our images, and then we will import them into After Effects and get everything ready to go for tomorrow when we begin animating. So as always, check out designcourse.com, and if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, so I let us go ahead and start getting these layers prepared for saving. So what I want to do is we'll probably just start from the top down in terms of what we see here. So, you know, we're not going to need this text to be, you know, we're going to do this text in After Effects. So we don't need to save that text or anything. So I'm just going to hide it. And then um, let's take a look at these button things. So I think it would be cool to, yeah, there's group one. Okay. So they're all in these groups right here. I, I think it would be cool to make them not lit up in that little blue kind of color in the middle for like the LED lights or whatever. So what we could do is duplicate those three, control shift D, and open each one of them up. Get rid of the shape one in each one of them. Okay, and let me Close those back and hide these ones. Oh man, I think I deleted the wrong one. Oopsie. Yeah, I deleted the flare by accident. Um, so let me back up. Control Alt Z. Uh, yeah, I gotta delete the right thing here. Apparently that is that. Okay, so it's the middle layer. And so ellipse one copy. That's what we want to delete. There we go. All right. So then what I'm gonna do is take all of these and just group them on the same or merge them on the same layer. So control E with all those groups selected. So now they are all rastered in their own little layer. Okay, so we, we want to do the same thing for the uh, ones down here too. So these as well will be grouped. So control E. All right, so now we have this and then you know, we could put this at the top and then you light up. And they'll all light up like one by one too. So we'll do that in, in After Effects. All right, so now let's go ahead and just save this. Uh, just Control A and then just select all and then Control C and then Control N. Just hit OK. Make sure the background is transparent. That's very important. And then paste that in with Control V and then save for web. So Control Shift. Now, you know what? We'll just make them uh, PSDs. I forgot. So save that, Control S, and create a folder wherever you're working called Assets, and save them in there. And so this is going to be LED lit, or light. <laughs> I meant lit, but I put light instead. Uh, and then we'll just uh, select on this layer. I think we're still, yeah. Just hit Control C, make sure you, know, you had that selection still going. And then um, they're all the same size, so just go back to this here, paste that in, save as, LED, not lit. <laughs> all right, so now we have those saved. That's good to go. Let's uh, go back here. Um, I'm going to zoom out again. All right, so now what we want to do is, and also I'm going to hide this, is save... I'm trying to think about how I want this little interface thing to uh, kind of build itself. Um, let's think here. See, I haven't actually done this yet, so I'm just kind of doing things on the fly. Probably not a great idea. <laughs> All right, so I, yeah, what I'm going to do is let's uh, make sure auto select layers on. Yeah. It's, it's on its own layer. I think I'm going to keep it just like that. So, uh, Control-A, Control-C. Create a new layer. Hit OK. Save that. We're, gonna, we're just going to call this main UI. Yeah, dash UI. All right. And then also we have... All right, let me see here. These, these glow things here. Let's work with those. All right, so we're only going to save out 
just this side, and then we can just flip them in After Effects uh, to do you know deal with this over there. So what we want to do is okay, my kids are being loud. Psh, be quiet. Uh, <laughs> is I uh, let's take this this first one right here. You know what? You can probably get away with recreating these glows solely in After Effects because they do have tools. It does have tools rather uh, to do this. So you know what? Mm. We'll see if we can get away with just handling that strictly within After Effects instead of saving these. So yeah, we'll scratch it. I think all these can be recreated. So what we'll do is just hide these for now. All right, so then we have this thing. And these are all on its, what? No, no. Let's take those first and uh, just kind of, we'll merge those. So control E. All right, so we'll just take one of these, copy it, file new, paste it, uh, not save for web, we just control S, and we'll call this sub-UI. All right, so we will just, we'll just flip this so we don't have to create like this one over there. And what else do we want to do? Let's take this thing. All right, so... You know, I also believe there is a plugin, um, or an effect rather, in After Effects that will kind of create these lines possibly. So I'm, I'm, I'm not 100% certain. I think we can. So I'm just gonna not save that for now. Uh, let's see here, and then over here, this portion as well, because um, you can do, you know, you can create your own rectangle and you can create also your own gradients. I believe this as well can be recreated within After Effects. So, you know, whenever you can create something natively without having to import stuff, it's pretty much a good idea to do that. So we'll leave this here. And if we need to come back and, you know, for whatever reason, make it an image, we will do that. All right, so then we got these things down here. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to take those and hit Control e and now they're on their own layer. And let's see here. We have this thin bar thing in the middle. You know, I, you, we can get rid Yeah, we can definitely get away with uh, creating that. All right, I had to pause the video. Kids are like banging on my door. All right, so uh, let's see, where was I? Um, let me go ahead and... You know what, I'm gonna leave these on their own layer. So just Control A, Control C, Control N, Enter, Control V, Paste, and Control S, Save. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not moving too fast, am I? All right, so what was called these uh, thin bar? And come back here, Control D to deselect. And okay, so let's go ahead and hide some of these or all of them rather. And yeah, this as well, we can create this glow in After Effects. And then we just have this cloud texture and I'll save that. Uh, just control C, actually no, edit, copy, merge. So you have copy and then copy, merge. What's copy, merge? Well, if you copy this, it's only gonna select this layer and we have an opacity on it. So if you try to save that, it would just be, you know, like this Thing that did not look correct, but copy merge will copy everything that is currently in view pixel for pixel. So file new, paste that, and then save, and we'll call this cloud. Or you call it background, it might be a little bit more relevant. Okay, so that that's basically all of our images. Um, now to bring everything back here. Yeah, this one. This one, this one, this one. And I think that is it. No, it was actually, yeah, that too. Okay. All right, so now let's go ahead to After Effects. We'll go to File, New. Well, we're already on a new project. So Composition, New Composition. We'll call this Gamer UI, whatever. And then 1280 by 720, which just matches our Photoshop document. And then everything else, yeah, we don't need something that's nearly an hour long. More like zero, zero there. And then maybe just, I don't know, one minute. All right, so background color. 
Um, let's make it pretty dark. Hit OK, and then OK. All right, so if you've never used After Effects before, you know, don't worry. We're not going to be doing anything so insanely complex that you're not going to, you know, your head's not going to fall off or anything. So, um, yeah, to basically, real quickly, you know, 100%, again, we run into the issue even more so because there's more stuff going on here in the interface that we can't really see it. So just use your screw wheel. Um, and that puts me at 50%. And that's fine. So now what we want to do is import all of the images that we just created. All right. So let me go back. So right click, import file. And here's all the assets that we created. So you just take like all of them, hold shift, hit import. And you may have a dialogue that comes up that asks you if you want to flatten them or whatever. Just hit OK. It's no big deal. All right. So let's get our background on first. So place it on there. There we go. Pretty easy so far. Yeah. All right. So let's think about how we want things to come in. So this is our main kind of bar thing that we created. And we just drop it there. Uh, now we have some options, you know, in terms of how we want this thing to come in. But let me think here. Let me push this up just a little bit. Sorry, I had to pause it and I was always going back to that thing. I had to think about, you know, how I want to approach this. Um, I think what we want to do is kind of just build everything, all the layers back where they need to be before we apply any type of animation. So we'll do that first. So we have this here and then we also have beneath that would be, we could approach this several ways. Um, you know, in terms of what we want to add, it really should be added like in terms of, you know, what is on top of each other in the, 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 the layer order down here, uh, in terms of what will be animated next. So the, obviously we have this background. We're not, we're not doing anything with the background. Then the first thing that we're going to see that's animated is this, the main kind of user, you know, the interface or whatever. So that comes next. So what would logically come after that? Well, we could take these and you know what that should have probably been uh baked into this <laughs> image here that's not a big deal though we can just add it uh right there and we can zoom up here now you hold your space you can just left click and just pan that view a little bit and then you could take your arrow keys and get those into position and let's click on right here that looks pretty good right there. And here's a quick tip. Uh, if you just duplicate that, Control D, uh, this layer, and then you take LED light, hold Alt. So make sure this is selected and this is selected. Hold the Alt key, drag it on top. And so basically that replaces that content, uh, but it's, it's the same exact location. All right, so we have those all lit up. Uh, so now what we want to do is build out the next piece. So what would come after that? Well, maybe the things on the side uh, or down here. So let's just focus on those. And thin bar, yeah, there it is. And we want to get this placed. Those will be underneath the main UI. All right, I think that looks good. All right, so what else? Yeah, we will manually create that little thin line down here. So let's zoom up to 100% space and left click to get this in view. And up here, we have the rectangle tool. And so I'm just going to drag a thin line right around there. Okay, and if we kind of click off of any anything, we can see it's just black right now. So if you select it, the fill is black. There's no stroke because it's zero. We want to leave it at that. Um, so we can click on fill, and we can make it a gradient, a linear gradient. Hit OK, and then we can adjust the gradient right here. And I think I just want it to be uh, like a 
yeah, like a dark gray. And this right here is 0% opacity. So if you select this upper portion, or upper picker rather, just put it to 100%. Oops, drag that off. And then take this and maybe bring these a little bit closer together. Hit OK. Now if we uh, look at this, because these outlines are kind of a, you can't really see what it looks like. Let's just see. Right now it's going from left to right, but we want it to go like a vertical gradient. So if we take real quickly, if you take, sorry about that, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you click on rectangle one right here, that is where you see this little thing that will show up. And this lets you adjust the angle of the gradient. So let me click off here. This is kind of, you know what? I'm going to take this, brighten things up. Click on this here. Click on rectangle one. There has to be a way. I should research this. Yeah, there we go. Now it's you can kind of see that very thin gradient. Kind of just more trouble than it's worth. All right. So now that we have that ready to go, um, let's go ahead and add the side portion. So. Where is that at? Yeah, sub UI. Okay. Um, let me think here. Yeah, you know what? I'm sorry. We're going to go back to Photoshop. I'm going to hide some things. And Control A, Control C, Control N, Enter. Control V, <laughs> save it, and we're going to call this uh, sub UI. We're going to overwrite that file. It just makes sense. Oh, yeah, you can't save over it because it's open in uh, After Effects. Sorry about that. Let me um, get rid of that, and hopefully it'll let me save now over it. Yeah, oh, okay. I'll just save it as an entirely new document, sub-UI2. All right, so it didn't really make sense to separate those. So I apologize for that. Import that file, hit OK. And that, that dialog showed up off the screen. That's why you didn't see it. And place it right there. Kind of just snaps into place automatically. And you know we want this to be below the main UI. Just drag it down right there. All right, almost done with constructing this layout here. Okay, so now what we want to do is take the... Yeah, where is it at? Where's our lights at? There we go. No. Oh, that's right. We we're going to construct those in After Effects. All right, so let's go ahead... Make sure no layer is selected down here. We'll take the ellipse tool and holding control and shift select right around here. We'll take the fill, change that to a radial gradient, hit OK. Change this here. All right, we'll space those out. This one's going to be like a bluish color. And this one is going to be like black, except zero opacity. All right, so you can increase this by holding shift. All right, we got to put this beneath the appropriate layer. So let me find that. Uh, let's see here. 
think it's in between those two. Yeah, that's it. All right, so. Okay, that looks good. Now, let's take this and we're going to duplicate that. So control D and make it smaller. Kind of move it back into place. And we're going to change the fill color here. We had like a lighter one, kind of like right around here. Hit OK. All right. And then we had that other one, you know, like the, the thin flare one over here. So duplicate that, Control D. Squish this thing down and pull it out. Oops, what am I doing here? Yeah, if you just drag it back into place after doing that. Change this here to white. This to white as well. Hit OK. And don't worry, we're not going to see the stuff inside here in a second. All right. And then we will duplicate that. Control D. And really make this thin. Take this one. Hit T, that's a shortcut for opacity. We could set a keyframe right here and take the opacity down. All right, and then, you know, oops, select that thin line, maybe move it out a little bit more. Oh man, I messed that up by accident. Let me back up. There we go. Somehow I screwed that up. Okay, take the layer above it and just move it out to the left with your arrow key. All right, so if we zoom up, looks pretty good, pretty much accurate, you know, based on what we had earlier. And we can take those layers. Let's see here. Holding shift, selecting all those, and... Yeah, we can go to layer, pre-compose. It's showing, it's not showing in the video, but it's at the very bottom of that menu. And we'll just call this flare. And move all attributes into a new composition. It's kind of like grouping layers in Photoshop, except for After Effects. All right, and I'm not going to worry about duplicating this over here yet because I want to animate it uh, first. Yeah, and so now we have that. Did we get that? Sound? No, okay. We left that up to, uh, yeah, we're almost done here. Now we just have to create this portion inside here. All right, so we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Rectangle tool. Drag out right around there. And now we have to edit the... Fill. So we want this to be linear. Hit OK. You can adjust this. Drag this portion down. And adjust the gradient. So um, top and bottom, yeah, will be black. This is going to be 100%. Oops. And then I want this to be black as well. Put one right around here. And I forget. I think it was like a yeah, color like that. So just remember that. And then we'll come out, put another one right around here. And hit OK. So let's zoom up. All right, and we also kind of had like these, well, if we look back over here, this inner glow type thing. So let's go back there and yeah. So if we go to effects and presets over here and we type in inner glow, I thought they had an inner glow. What am I doing? Well, let's just put glow. Stylized glow. Let me just add this and see if this works. Hopefully we can change that to inside. So 
Otherwise, I'm going to look stupid. Yeah, so I had to pause that because I had a stupid moment. We're going to remove that and go to Layer, Layer Styles, Inner Glow. All right, so now if we have if we come down here and we go to inner glow we can have, we have our options so let me just move everything up all right so the glow color once again they use this yellow color for some reason and uh, we will change that to black and what's cool is these are all they can all be animated so maybe we'll do that when we get to the animation portion we're already like 25 minutes man all right, so now we uh, we can adjust the choke and the size. Let's see the size. If we pull that up, uh, screen. We need to change that to normal. There we go. And that looks like it's pretty good already. Let me. There. I think that's pretty decent. Okay, cool. And what the hell? This moved somehow. Let me find those. Just take both of them holding shift and just move them back up to where they're supposed to be. I don't know how those got moved. Oh, man. You know what? They were in the correct position already. Sorry about that. Don't do that. This is just on top of everything. That's why this needs to be brought down beneath the correct area. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm going to have to adjust these layers a little bit. These flare things, that needs to be... All right, and... Yeah, this needs to be... Is that beneath it still? Where is this at? Okay, this needs to be right here. Okay, <laughs> sorry. There we go. Now it's all correct. Okay, so... You know what? This is too dark. I remember we kind of applied an opacity to that. So just hit T, opacity, take that down. See what that looks like. Maybe a little bit more. And it needs brought beneath these things where are these at where's sub ui okay so take the shape layer one bring it beneath sub dash ui all right cool all right so you know just to keep things consistent let us take our flare and i am gonna i am just gonna no you know what i'm not gonna duplicate that and that's unnecessary work at this point all right, so let me go ahead and we'll get the text out here. So let me, we'll just, yeah. Can we drag out like that? Yes, we can. And then just put our text that's like way too big, no problem. And what was that? Yeah, I think troll level, I was doing 1,000 or 100K or something. I don't even know what I'm typing. And then I, yeah, we have Source Sans Pro. I'm going to change mine. Take the size down a lot. Go right around there. We can drag this up. Just like that move tool. Bring it there. Go to 100%. The color we can change. Kind of like this aqua color. And then we can put a glow on it. I think that looks cool right there. All right. Okay, uh, that is it. We're already at 30 minutes practically. So tomorrow is when we're going to finish this thing up and actually get the animation running. So yeah, check out designcourse.com if you haven't yet. Subscribe here on YouTube. All right, see you tomorrow.